Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michael Malley here with the Hurricane Outlook and discussion for August 13th, 2022, around 10 a.m. Eastern Time. We have a lot to talk about today, including a new tropical system that could be forming in the Atlantic Basin over the next several days and where we'll be heading, how strong we'll get, and a look at the overall synopsis for the remainder of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. So let's go and jump straight into everything. Taking a wide look across the tropical Atlantic this afternoon, we noticed that a couple of things are happening today. First of all, in the Gulf of Mexico, we have Invest Area 98L now on approach to Texas. And this will be a storm generally most noted for the rainfall potential over the next couple of days. No significant tropical cyclone formation is expected as this begins to move into Texas later today and tomorrow. And across the rest of the tropical Atlantic, we are watching this overall piece of energy associated with the monsoon trough. No tropical development is expected at this particular time, but we will see just how things progress as we move forward with the remainder of today. So again, here's a look at Invest Area 98L today. Again, the maximum sustained winds are 20 knots, so about 25 to 30 miles per hour with a pressure of 1,013 millibars located at 28.0 north and 94.7 west. We can kind of see here the overall track forecast from the overall uh, guidance does suggest this will move into South Texas later today and tomorrow, producing with it some heavy rainfall if we look at the visible satellite imagery today. We notice that the system is a little bit better organized. We do have actually somewhat of a semblance of a low-level circulation that is trying to develop within this overall area. Had this had more time over the Gulf of Mexico, conditions would have been more favorable for development. But uh, either way, this does have still a little bit of a chance for tropical cyclone formation. Either way, the main threat is going to be that rainfall. We notice based on the National Blend of Models forecast here, as the system begins to approach later today and tomorrow, the rainfall amounts, especially in portions of South Texas, will be at its highest around three inches across portions of South Texas, including McAllen and near Brownsville, and the potential for some rainfall as well near Houston, upwards of about two to two and a half inches. And again, that will diminish as this begins to move inland. So this is the rainfall total for the next seven days. But again, the main threats are going to be to portions of South Texas, especially McAllen and Brownsville and places uh, right along the immediate coast, even Corpus Christi for that matter as well. All right. Now, focusing on the remainder of the tropics in the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, we've seen an unprecedentedly quiet season so far. This is the accumulated cyclone energy index compared to 2021. Uh, this runs through yesterday, August 12th, and we noticed that the overall ACE index this year is only a meager 2.8 uh, ACE units, very, very low. We haven't had many uh, tropical cyclones that have formed. As you can see, the last tropical cyclone that actually did form was all the way back in here in June, and it's been a long time since we've had any tropical formation. We haven't had formation in July and so far through the first 13 days of August, we have not had formation either. Now, this actually is lower than the 2021 mean. We can see that in 2021, we had storms forming this time of the year. Uh, this isn't to say, though, that we are going to be at the minimum. You can see this was the minimum. I don't remember which year this was actually set. Um, and believe it or not, this was not 2013. Um, but we will be seeing some increase in this, and I do suspect that tropical cyclones will begin to form, and I, I do suspect that this will kind of remain uh, slow for a little bit and then start to kind of ramp up, something like that, and that's kind of where I'm predicting we'll end up here, somewhere within about the 25th, maybe 40th percentile of overall seasons uh, as we progress through the next couple of weeks. If we look at the GFS forecast, this is the overnight runs, the 60 run uh, valid for 8 a.m. this morning. We notice that there's not really much going on across the deep tropics today. And uh, most notably, there won't be really much. We'll have to watch this potential system. I don't know if this will be tropical in nature, but it does try to swing off and, and kind of move into the northeast U.S. Not sure if this will be tropical in nature, but we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. But Really, other than that, you notice that finally, by the end, really, of the forecast run, we start to get these amplified tropical waves, and actually, a tropical cyclone does develop down here in the Gulf of Mexico, or in the, the Caribbean, and then moves uh, potentially into the Gulf of Mexico. If we actually look at the ensembles here from the GFS, and we'll actually take a look at that ensemble mean sea level pressure and back it up just a couple of runs here. Uh, what we're going to be able to see 
is that in the long range forecast, again, not really much out there at this particular time, uh, but we do start to see somewhat of an increase with overall time, especially in the western part of the Atlantic Basin. We start to see the increase in potential tropical cyclones. The European forecast, for that matter, as well, does much of the same thing with an increase of tropical cyclones as we head into the uh, last couple of days of August. Again, one of the main things here is that precipital water forecast is going to be pretty well uh, as we run forward in time. We notice that, generally speaking, we end up with increased moisture across the main development region, and that kind of remains through the last couple of days of August. And looking at the overall synopsis pattern here in the wind shear department, again, pretty good for right now, but uh, we'll be watching this uh, tropical upper tropospheric trough here to see how it interacts with the rest of the basin over the next couple of weeks. All right. So that being said, I do hope you have a great rest of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Mike Romali, and I'll talk to you guys again some more tomorrow.